This week it's all about small rivers, big wonders. Like, I wonder if there's muskies in that river. Well, at Keys Outdoors we have a saying, you don't know if you don't go. So this summer I explored a couple small rivers. And out of those small rivers I fished, well, let's say the rumors were true. There are muskies in those waters. I must have chased over a million miles. This is more than just, well, a passion. It's our addiction. It defines who we are and what we are all about. It consumes us. If this sport doesn't humble you, well, then nothing will. For us, it's all about the muskie. Going to pick up the most, uh, the world's most awesomest uh, musky canoes ever made. Pretty excited about it. It's going to allow us to get on some really small rivers and catch some monster fish. If you've been watching the shows, you know, Mike, we're hardcore. We like to get back in the bush and yeah. and uh, chase some monster muskies. One of the problems that we've had with Keys Outdoors is finding a boat, if you will, mm -hmm. that's easy for a guy to handle by himself if he wants to go by himself, mm -hmm. easy to get in, in skinny water, yeah. but very stable on water. Yeah. And uh, after all my research, uh, I was really happy to find out that there is a boat that fits all those needs and it's made right here in Merrill, Wisconsin. You bet. Talk a little bit about the company. Yeah. Um, Golden Hawk just moved to uh, Merrill last year. Uh, we've been around since 1968. Um, these designs um, were made for, for stability. Um, they're shorter canoes, so they're easier to handle. They've got a full keel on them, so they track real nice in the water. It's wrapped in aluminum, so if you go on rivers and you're hitting rocks, it can take a beating. Uh, we've got square backs along with our traditionals that allow you to put up to a four horse motor on them, so you're not just paddling the canoe. So if you do get up and down a river, you don't have to fight that current. Um, we've also got a nice wide belly on it, so if you want to stand up and cast in it, unlike most canoes, you can in this one. On your Golden Hawk canoes, well, we, one part of our design primarily is the keel. We do ours in a two-piece mold, gives you a full aluminum keel that wraps the entire canoe. That allows you to track real well in the water. It stiffens up the belly, so when you stand up, you don't get that flimsy feeling. We also put ribs in to stiffen it up. In the back, we have a transom. Um, our transom's elevated, so whether you're going forward or reverse, you, you're not getting that drag, you don't get any backsplash, it acts like a canoe whether you're going forward or reverse, whether you have a motor on it or not. Um, one thing that we came out with this year is our new web seats. Um, they're about twice the size of most of your normal web seats out there, so if you're on a full day of fishing, you want that support, you want that breathability to, to allow you to have some comfort. Um, um, out on the water. The 12 footers can handle up to a four horse gas so pretty much any of your trolling motors that you currently have um, mount great onto these canoes. Uh, the weight of our 12 foot square backs are 65 pounds. Our smallest is a 10 foot traditional canoe that weighs only 45 pounds. The other thing we have is we have our molded gun walls. This allows you to to customize your canoe whether you're adding uh, rod holders, anchor ties, uh, cup holders, you're, you're able to mount to these along with the different ports, uh, yoke options. 
Uh, we have a 38 inch belly at the midpoint on these canoes. That's where we get all of our stability from. It allows us to shrink our canoes down to 10, 12 foot 9. Um, with the shorter canoes and your smaller waters, you're able to maneuver a lot better. You don't have 17 feet you're trying to turn around in small waters. Uh, it just gives you a real unique design that's great for fishing and just being out on the water. Well, now it was time to get to work. Let's see what this boat is really made of. My plans were simple. Head up river and slowly start working my way back down. For me, being on this river for the first time, hey, just seeing a muskie would be considered a huge success. That means if there's one, there's more. And if there's more, that means I gotta come back. I'm liking this plan already. I am Muskie Zinc, and my membership does a lot for muskie fishing. My membership helps to stock lakes with muskies for the future of our sport. My membership helps in cleaning up lakes and providing habitat that makes our fisheries healthier and stronger. My membership helps by getting our youth involved in the outdoors. Like I said, my $35 membership does a lot for the sport of muskie fishing. I am Muskie Zinc. Are you? Americans, we're the creators of things born of an independent spirit, designers of the great, architects of the useful, composers of the loud, builders of the beautiful. We live in a country that lets people make things they believe in, and that's as American as, well... you what guys what a heartbreak you know I tried what I tried to do is I tried to get up onto a sandbar I don't have a net with me and I just wanted to beach that fish get into the shallows where I could release it had it on the whole way just got one foot out of the boat and uh, thing got off so but uh, caught that fish on a Crave Junior it is about 4:30. Um, yesterday I was out and I lost a nice fish so they're they're definitely feeding and they're definitely moving I just gotta keep casting and put my lure in front of them and good things are gonna happen
Oh! <sighs> One fish that I got right up to the boat and ended up losing. And then uh, I had a couple follows. I had one get off, um, and I had three more follows. So in total, five fish, not bad. And it's a pretty cool thing that we have an opportunity like this in uh, Wisconsin on these small rivers. And there's a bunch of them, guys. I mean, if you really do your homework on it, you'll find out that there's a lot of opportunities to get out and chase some muskies on some really skinny water. And it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. After two days of fishing, I was pretty happy with the results so far. There are muskies in these waters. It would be a couple of weeks before I'd be able to get back, and this time, well, I would bring a secret weapon, live bait, sucker time. If any presentation was going to show you what this river holds, it would be a sucker swimming around her waters. Keys Outdoors only uses the best rods. And now, the Bulldog Rods come in three price ranges to best suit your needs. The Evolution Series and Select Series all use the same T-Tech Series blanks as the Pro Series. The only difference is that the Evolution and Select Series comes with T-Tech guides, and that's how we save you some serious money. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started in the sport, Bulldog Rods have the right rods at the right price to get the job done. This is my new secret weapon. It's by Musky Mayhem. It's called the Trolling Girl. Heavier blades, heavier wire, heavier clevises designed for one thing and one thing only, trolling. You know, all blades aren't created equal, and now one company stands above, and that is Musky Mayhem with their new 2013 Trolling Girls. Check them out at www.muskymayhemtackle.com. MTO Custom Colors. Keys Outdoors, Musky Mayhem, and Musky Innovations all teamed up this year to bring you the Baitfish Series. Four Cisco patterns from Musky Mayhem. Four Baitfish patterns from Musky Innovation. And there's only one place you can get these cool custom colors, and that's from Musky Tackle Online. After a couple weeks, it was good to be floating the river once again. With less than an hour into the third trip, I lost a real nice 38 to 40 inch muskie on a bulldog. Like I said, this time, I was gonna have my secret weapon with me. Live bait, baby. Muskies are weak to its powers. All I can say is, prime time for some slime time. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a 
nice fish, man. Nice fish. On a sucker. Oh, this is a dandy. A dandy! Alright, I gotta get this thing in the shore. All right, I gotta land this. I have no net whatsoever, guys. I can't move this fish. I gotta get him in the shore and beach him. Dandy fish, nice one. I'm a sucker. I got him good if I can just coach him in there. If I can just coach him in. Get this fish off. Here we go. Small rivers. You gotta love it. And you let it get there. Like I said, muskies are weak to the power of the meat. There's no doubt about that. Bye bye, baby. Yeah. Yeah. And that secret weapon? Well, she just paid off big time. <sighs> How awesome was that? Yep, just a man in his canoe. Does it really get any better than that? Crush, it came up and hammered that sucker, man. Oh, is this exciting fishing or what, man? Look at this dandy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Right here, Keys Outdoors. Let's let this girl go back. <laughs> oh. Gotta flip and love it.
bitch, man. Nice bitch. Oh. On the creep, baby. On the creep. Keys Outdoors only uses the best rods. And now, the Bulldog Rods come in three price ranges to best suit your needs. The Evolution Series and Select Series all use the same T-Tech Series blanks as the Pro Series. The only difference is that the Evolution and Select Series comes with T-Tech guides, and that's how we save you some serious money. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started in the sport, Bulldog Rods have the right rods at the right price to get the job done. This is my new secret weapon. It's by Musky Mayhem. It's called the Trolling Girl. Heavier blades, heavier wire, heavier clevises designed for one thing and one thing only, trolling. You know, all blades aren't created equal, and now one company stands above, and that is Musky Mayhem with their new 2013 Trolling Girls. Check them out at www.muskymayhemtackle.com. MTO Custom Colors. Hey. Keys Outdoors, Musky Mayhem, and Musky Innovations all teamed up this year to bring you the Bait Fish Series. Four Cisco patterns from Musky Mayhem. Four Bait Fish patterns from Musky Innovation. And there's only one place you can get these cool custom colors, and that's from Musky Tackle Online. Another two weeks have passed as I made my way back to the river for the fourth and final trip. With most of the trees bare and the weather starting to change, my days of hunting muskies here, they were numbered. Remember when I started this adventure? I said that we had a saying at Keys Outdoors, you don't know if you don't go. All I can say is, I'm glad I went. It's been a lot of fun. This is my fourth time to this river now, so I'm starting to really put a lot of pieces of the puzzle together. By next year, I'll be dialed in big time. It's late in the fall. It's the third week of October. Um, it is warm out today, about 65 degrees, and um, I do have suckers with me. I haven't gotten to a hole yet to where it's deep enough for me to put a couple suckers down. So what I've been doing is, again, just using the... The Revo Shad, oh yeah, it's a hybrid. This thing is a jointed swim bait, no bill on it, so it rides high in the water just underneath the surface, and it's ideal for this style of fishing, really skinny water. I mean, guys, I'm, my deepest water that I'm finding on this system is probably about 8 to 10 foot. That's it. There may be a hole that's 15. I haven't found it yet super shallow so that this is perfect for that and I'll tell you what what's really unique about this is the way that you can work it as I'm coming back I'm just kind of popping it along and that thing just kind of dot, darts off turns sideways and it just hangs there it just I mean like in your face baby and they just can't resist it All right, man. There's a little fish here, guys. Love it just spanking. What a beautiful looking fish here. All right, what I'm doing, guys, is again just working with this. This is the perfect scenario here for Musky to be. And I'll explain that in a minute here, but. <laughs> nice fish. All right. Guys. 
All right, man, what a beautiful fish. Boy, I'll tell you what, this river fishing is something else. Water's nice and cold. Caught that on a new uh, hybrid bait by Reaction Strike. I'll tell you what, man, it's a cool bait. It's, it looks so much like a fish. Let's let this girl go back. All right. All in all, another great trip. And you know, it's true, you don't need a huge boat to enjoy the sport of musky fishing. A canoe, a musky rod, and some lures, and that's it. And you can enjoy this awesome action like I did. Yeah. Tell you what guys, what a blast. I absolutely love this river fishing. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Right here, Cheese Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you would like to learn more about the product seen on this week's show, go to our website. I don't know where we're going to be, but I do guarantee you this. It will be an adventure.